These are the maps that you just don't skip. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're taking a look at our top 10 Call of Duty maps of all time. Rangers lead the way. For this list, we're excluding zombie maps, because those are on a list for another day. Number 10, Bog, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. UAV recon standing by. In many ways, Bog is the definitive map for how Call of Duty 4 was played. While this map is wide open and was always able to provide some fun for snipers, a lot of people hunker down and take what little cover there is and use it to their advantage. But no matter how much people play this map, we can't help but rage just a little bit when we run into the claymores that are very, very common in the bog. Number 9. Recool, Call of Duty and Call of Duty 2. This is the oldest map on the list, but it is well deserving of its spot. Though the graphics could be considered laughable by today's standards, you can ignore that and focus on the map's open layout that makes for such competitive games. Even though not many people play this one anymore, you can always count on a sense of nostalgia when you load it up. Number 8. Outskirts. Call of Duty World at War. The only World at War map on this list, Outskirts represents the early Call of Duty games rather well. Set in a city's ruins, this is known for one of the first truly dynamic Call of Duty maps. More specifically, it's perhaps best known as one of the only World at War maps with drivable tanks. Number 7. Crossfire. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. This map was a sniping paradise for a reason. With plenty of buildings and buses, this was not a place where people felt comfortable rushing through unless you had a shotgun or a handy assault rifle. Even though it goes by a different name in Modern Warfare 2, it was still the map that we always loved. Enemy Number 6. Crash. Modern Warfare 1 and 2. Crash is a fan favorite from the Modern Warfare series, no matter which installment you're playing. Though some people get annoyed with the camping encouraged by the alleys and hallways, others enjoy playing it because of the vertical combat the multi-leveled buildings encourage. UAV recon standing by. In fact, some people loved this map enough that they were more than willing to pay a little bit of extra cash to get it in DLC. UAV recon standing by. Number 5. High Rise. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Coming in at the number 5 spot on our list is the fast paced close quarters map set on top of a skyscraper. Care package on the way. Sneaky players will know about the climbable crane that lets you get high above the map. Oh, and watch out for the cross map snipers and noob tubers trying to get that lucky shot as the match begins, because there's always one. Number 4, Firing Range, Black Ops 1 and 2. Firing Range was remade in Black Ops 2 as Studio for a good reason. One of the fan favorites from the first installment of Black Ops, this map catered to every playstyle. While there are many spots for people to sit in corners and wait, most people like to rush around the map in order to lead their team to a quick victory. But remember, the team that controls the center tower controls the game. Inbound. From the RCXD inbound. Number 3. Summit. Black Ops. Another fan favorite that was remade in Black Ops 2 was this snow-covered map with a center building that was almost always an absolute death trap. Even though most people tend to rush around the outside, there are also many long lines of sight to take if you feel like sniping. However, don't run too fast or you might find yourself falling off the map. Number 2. Terminal. Modern Warfare 2 and 3. 
While this airport was a scene of controversial themes in the campaign, in multiplayer it was pure fun. Whether you want to take up a position in the middle hallway, in a souvenir shop, or hide inside of the plane itself, there's no denying that there's really no place to hide for very long. In fact, this map was so popular, it was the only map from number 2 to be remade in number 3 two years later. Before we reveal who is crowned the king of Call of Duty maps, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1, Nuketown, Black Ops 1, and 2. Was there ever any doubt? When this very small map came into the world of Call of Duty, no others could compare to it. In this map, there's almost nowhere to hide. You can take up a position in either of the house's windows, or you can choose to rush around the vehicles spread around the map. Whether it's 2010 or 2025, you can always count on non-stop mayhem and tons of kills. With dozens of maps in this historic franchise, it is a possibility that we missed a few of your favorites. Which ones do you feel we left out? For more killstreaking top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Good job, team. Get ready for the next round.